हेलो माय डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माई सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर वन जीरो टू दैट इज द चेस्ट इंजुरी एंड डिसीज ऑफ द चेस्ट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल एक्सप्लोर द इंजुरी टू द चेस्ट फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द रिप एंड इन ट्रीटमेंट ट्रॉमेटिक हिमोथोरैक्स कंट्रोजन एंड लेसेशन ऑफ द लंग मीडियस्टिन एम्पाइदीमा डिसीज ऑफ द चेस्ट प्लूरलिफ्यूजन एम्पाइदीमा थोरेसिक ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द पलमोरी ट्यूबरकुलसिस लंग एप्सिस लंग सीस ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द ब्रॉन्का एंड लंग्स प्राइमरी कार्सनोमा ऑफ द लंग पैनकोस ट्यूमर्स ऑफ एंड इन ट्रीटमेंट एंड सेकेंडरी कार्सनोमा ऑफ द लंग्स ऑल पॉइंट will cover in this lecture dear student we start with the injury to the chest there is the two types of the injuries of the chest may be seen that is the closed and open in civil practice the chest injuries occurs easily from the road accidents and stab or gunshot wounds first is the fracture of the rib types of the trauma is direct trauma crush injury steering wheel injury and minor trauma the direct trauma when chest is struck against the hard object fracture of the rib may occur crush injury is often caused by the road accidents and aeroplane accidents steering wheel injury in head on car accidents in which there is a fracture or dislocation of the upper end of the sternum and bilateral fractures and minor trauma when the ribs become rigid and elderly individuals now on the palpation local bone irregularities tenderness and crepitus are the findings of the fracture rib now the compression test is usually positive the patient stands with both hands on the head and then the clinic clinician places the base of the hand on the sternum and the other hand on the spine the thoracic cage is compressed anteriorly the patient experiences pain if any rib is fractured this is the compression test dear students here is the image you can see on your screen there is the left side fracture of the ribs multiple fracture of the ribs and this is the clear picture showing the fracture of the ribs now the treatment in the fracture of the ribs are the systemic analgesics should be given local injection of the intercostal nerve to nerve block to control the pain trapping in full expiration state the strapping of the chest by immobilizing the fracture rib was very popular treatment in this the rib of the fractures now the complications of the fractures of the rib are there are two types of the complications one is the general and second is the local complication general complication is the shock mainly hypovolemic shock due to other injuries in the body and neurogenic shock local complications like surgical emphysema traumatic pneumothorax traumatic hemothorax toe in chest and flail chest pulmonary contusion and laceration injury to the heart and pericardium traumatic asphyxia injury to the th- diaphragm and diaphragmatic hernia injury to the subdiaphragmatic organs that is the liver spleen kidney colon and stomach now surgical emphysema this simply means air in the subcutaneous tissue in uh, it is also called the subcutaneous emphysema the mechanism of this surgical emphysema is the fracture in of the ribs are forced into the injuries force and injure the underlying lungs through which air comes out into the muscles and subcutaneous tissues of the chest wall the fracture ends of the rib move back to their normal positions and the rent in the lungs is sealed off if the rent in the lung will persist persist it is called traumatic pneumothorax surgical emphysema should not be confused with medicinal emphysema which is a sequel of a rupture of the bronchus and esophagus and in this condition emphysema is first noticed in the neck. now clinical features patient mainly complains of the pain in the chest due, uh, due to the fracture of the rib the treatment is no require any treatment antibiotic should be start icd if the traumatic pneumothorax associated with the surgical emphysema is there intracostal drainage water seal drain has to be made with the intercostal needle insertion through the second intercostal space now the second is traumatic pneumothorax air in the pleural cavity is called the pneumothorax and when it is due to the trauma it is called the traumatic pneumothorax in majority cases of the trauma blood is associated with the air in the pleural cavity and then it is called the hemopneumothorax some thoracic surgeons prefer to use the this double term only when there is a sufficient blood in the pleural cavity which requires removal of the loss from the circulating volume requ- requires transfusion replacement there are three types of the traumatic neuro- pneumothorax one is closed pneumothorax when air comes out in the uh, pleural cavity through the so- small rent in the lung due to the trauma with fracture ends of the rib when such rent is subsequently closed it is called closed pneumothorax second is open pneumothorax air may enter the pleural cavity through a wound in the chest wall and this is called open pneumothorax third is the tension pneumothorax when the uh, lacerated lung communicates with a branch of the bronch 
cervical tree this permits air to enter the pleural cavity from the lung during inspiration but does not permit it to escape during expiration as the leak is in the lung becomes closed so the rent becomes valvular this condition is called tension pneumothorax now the clinical features of the pneumothorax uh, traumatic pneumothorax is the dyspnea pain shock and cyanosis treatment closed pneumothorax icd and for the open pneumothorax closure of the wound antibiotic and analgesics and for the tension pneumothorax this requires icd immediate surgical intervention as the condition is fatal the white bore needle is inserted into the pleural cavity through second intercostal space uh, one and a half inch lateral to the sternum to avoid the injury to the internal mammary artery and the antibiotic should be start now the traumatic pneumothorax this means the accumulation of the blood in the pleural cavity due to the trauma to the chest the blood come from the either from the contagion of the lung or from the parietal vessels intercostal or internal memory vessels Clean treatment is simple aspiration tube drainage that is the icd water seal drainage thoracotomy now the stow in chest and fell chest stow in chest from the extensive localized crushing force crushing force which produces the multiple refractures this results in depression on the chest wall in that region relatively immobility leads to the accumulation of the bronchopulmonary secretions this condition is associated with the depressed fracture of clavicle become the serious condition and now the fell chest develops when the multiple refractures anteriorly at or near the costo control junction of the posterior near the angles of the ribs these results in the fragments of the chest wall which becomes unstable having no bony connection these floating segments move in during the inspiration due to the due to the negative pressure in the pleural cavity and move out during expiration due to the positive pressure within the pleural cavity this results in paradoxical movement of the floating segments of the chest wall this is also known as the paradoxical respiration dear students here is a clear picture on your screen is showing the traumatic hemothorax and this next is the traumatic hemothorax is clearly seen seen on your screen now the three types of the fell chest is there according to the rib fracture one is the lateral type or uh, fracture anteriorly and posteriorly and second is the anterior type the anterior ends of the few ribs on both sides are fractured so that the sternum along with the anterior fragments of the ribs both sides become the floating segment and third is the posterior type of the fell chest that is the ribs are fractured at the their posterior angles and both sides so the spinal column along with the posterior fragments of the ribs become floating segments now the effects of the paradoxical respiration is the imperfect ventilation mediastinal flutter stagnation of the air accumulation of the bronchopulmonary secretions due to the tremendous pain and relative immobility of the affected lungs and fifth is the post traumatic pulmonary insufficiency and wet lungs may also occur due to the Flail chest. Now the treatment is the analgesic should be start passage of the endotracheal tube, insertion of the intrapleural drainage, mechanical and manual control of the ventilation. For the rib of fracture, Kirchner's wire that is K wire or short rush nail into the medullary cavities of the ribs should be done. Now the traumatic rupture of the diaphragm, rupture of the diaphragm may occur from the penetrating injuries or crush injuries to the lower chest or upper abdomen. The abdominal trauma is more often. responsible for rupture of the diaphragm than thoracic trauma left hemi diaphragm is more affected and right diaphragm is protected by the liver the ratio of the trauma to the diaphragm left to right is 9 as to 1 and the treatment is the thoracotomy tracheostomy sos and the laparotomy traumatic rupture of the diaphragm now the next is the contagion and the laceration of the lungs lungs are often injured in moderate to severe trauma to the chest wall pulmonary contagion is the term used to indicate the consequence of the blunt trauma to the lung now the pulmonary laceration pulmonary laceration means the represent greater extent of the pulmonary contagion injury to the lung is clearly evident by the hemoptysis is every case of the thoracic injury the patient must be questioned where uh, he has coughed a blood or not now the causes of the pulmonary con contusion and the laceration are the hemoptysis surgical emphysema mediastinal emphysema traumatic pneumothorax traumatic hemothorax electasis persistent collapse of the lung in case of the grassly lacerated lung also uh, secondary infection of the damaged lungs dear students here is a clear picture on your screen is the contusion of the lung is clearly seen now this second ct image is the laceration of the lung is clearly seen on your screen now the treatment abg arterial blood gases endotracheal intubation ventilatory support iv fluids 
एंटीबायोटिक अकॉर्डिंग टू सीएस कंडीशन थोरेकोटॉमी एंड रिपेयर और रिफेक्शन पोस्ट ट्रॉमेटिक पुलमोनरी इनसफिशिएंसी एंड एक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी फेलियर इन पेशेंट्स हु सफर मेजर थोरेसिक ट्रॉमा इट इज आवर प्रैक्टिस दैट व्हेन एवर डाउट और कंट्रोवर्सी क्लाउड्स आवर नॉलेज ऑफ द डिसीज प्रोसेस द इशू इज इजीली ऑब्स्क्योर्ड स्टिल फर्दर बाय यूजिंग द कंफ्यूजिंग नॉमेनक्लेचर्स इटियोलॉजी ऑफ द पोस्ट ट्रॉमेटिक पुलमोनरी इनसफिशिएंसी इज द लंग्स बिकम इंजर्ड विद अ वायलेंट क्रशिंग इंजरीज ऑफ द केच माइक्रोएम्बोला एंड पेटेशियल हेमोरेज नाउ मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द पोस्ट ट्रॉमेटिक पुलमोनरी इनसफिशिएंसी इज बाय द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द गुड कार्डियोवैस्कुलर स्टेटस प्रॉपर इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द वेंटिलेटरी सिस्टम सीवीपी सेंट्रल वेनस प्रेशर मिनिमम फ्लूइड टू एवोइड पुलमोनरी एडिमा डायरेटिक थेरेपी आइनोट्रोपिक मायोकार्डियल सपोर्ट एंटीबायोटिक डिगोक्सिन टू इंक्रीज द कार्डियक कॉम्पिटेंस एंड मिथिल प्रेडनिसोलन 30 मिलीग्राम पर केजी ऑफ बॉडी वेट नाउ द मीडियास्टिनल एम्फाइजिमा दिस इज अ कंडीशन इन व्हिच देयर इज अ एस्केप ऑफ एयर इनटू द मीडियास्टिनम आइदर थ्रू वुंड ऑफ द ट्रकिया और ब्रोंकाय और द एसोफेगस द फेस एंड नेक बिकम सफज एंड लिविड ड्यू टू द प्रेशर ऑन द ग्रेट वेन्स ऑफ द नेक एट देयर रूट्स ट्रीटमेंट इज इमीडिएट थोरेकोटॉमी एंड रिपेयर ऑफ द वुंड और टियर थ्रू द व्हिच इज कमिंग इनटू द मीडियास्टिनम Now the next is the injury to the heart and pericardium. The uh, sometimes in thoracic injury the heart may be injured. This may be occurred by the penetrating wound. Blood accumulates in the pericardium which compresses the heart and jo paralyzes the circulation, general circulation. This is called the cardiac tamponade. The cardiac tamponade the three classical signs are there. Silent heart that is the diminution of the cardiac sound. इंक्रीज एरिया ऑफ द कार्डियक डलनेस एंड स्टेडी डिक्रीजेज ऑफ और फॉल ऑफ द अर्टिकल प्रेशर विद ग्रेजुअल राइज ऑफ द वेनस प्रेशर नाउ द ट्रीटमेंट इज द इमीडिएट एसोसिएशन ऑफ द पेरिकार्डियम थ्रू द लेफ्ट कॉस्टोक जिफॉइड एंगल दिस इज द लाइफ सेविंग मेजर नेक्स्ट इज द थोरेसिक हाइड्रोथोरेक्स एंड इंजुरी टू द थोरेक्स विथ फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द रिप ऑन द रिप्स साइन ऑफ हाइड्रोथोरेक्स डेवलप इंजुरी टू द थोरेसिक डक डे स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज अ क्लियर कट इमेज शोइंग द मेडियाल एम्पाइजिमा ऑन योर स्क्रीन the picture is showing mediastinal lymphedema management of the open wounds of the thorax are two types of the wound sucking should be closed immediately and non sucking management is the position of the mediastinum massive collapse the lung is there stabilization of the chest wall pain relief sucking of air and blood endotracheal intubation o2 supply fluid resuscitation that is the limited always avoid pulmonary edema uh, cvp central venous pressure these are the management now the diseases of the chest including the mediastinum and diaphragm Pleural effusion, accumulation of the fluid in the pleural cavity, fluid exuded by the visceral pleura and absorbed by the parietal pleura. Ap- approximately 1000 ml of this fluid is formed per day. Pleural effusion classification: there is the transduits and exudates two types. Transduits specific gravity less than 1.015 and exudates more than 1.016. Protein contents in transduits pleural effusion less than 3 gram per 100 ml. Causes are CCF, nephrotic syndrome, and ascites and atelectasis in the exudates. Uh, the protein contains more than 3 g per 100 ml that's why it's uh, looking like the exudates uh, causes is the inflammatory disease neoplasm of pleura and lung pulmonary infarctions dear students here is a Im- clear cut image showing the right side pleural effusion in the chest the pleural effusion of the left side is clearly seen same picture left side pleural effusion now the causes of the pleural effusions are most common causes are ccf infection neoplasm common causes are trauma pulmonary infarction lower atelectasis occasional causes are tuberculosis viral pulmonary and pericardial infections and intraabdominal infection that is the subferenic extension and pancreatitis extremely rare causes are systemic bacterial infections nephrotic syndrome and rheumatoid arthritis fluid retention and meg syndrome meg syndrome is the ovarian uh, ovarian fibroma in sometimes associated with the pleural effusion now the empyema thoracic the term empyema thoracic is generally applied to the pyogenic infections of the pleural cavity associated with the pleural effusion a collection of the pleural fluid in the pleural uh, space that is the uh, empyema thoracic etiology it is always secondary due to the lower pneumonia or bronchopneumonia due to the subphrenic abscess or intrahepatic abscess source of the infection is the lung pneumonia lung abscess bronchogenic carcinoma bronchi bronchopleural fistula esophagus perforation and leaking anastomosis and carcinoma chest wall wound and osteomyelitis of the ribs post operatively thoracotomy from the structures of the mediastinum infected lymph nodes below the diaphragm subphrenic and intrahepatic abscesses dear students here is the clear cut picture showing the empyema 
empedema of the thorax next image is also showing the empedema of the thorax now the pathology that the pneumonia of the underlying lungs two types of the empyema is there that is the syn pneumonic empyema occurs secondary to the streptococcal bronchopneumonia and second is the meta pneumonia empyema secondary to the pneumococcal lower pneumonia and the process of the empyema starts after the resolution of the pneumonia development of a serious infusion then pleura is invaded by the ectherm then inflammatory changes in the pleura with exudation of the fluid then fibrin deposit on the surface of the pleura then nature, nature will try to encircle the septic area with fibrous tissue and then empyema gradually walled off and by adhesions now the secondary changes is the chronic empyema that is the immobile and functionless types acute empyema sub acute empyema and chronic empyema so acute empyema uh, may be the toxic and in shock there may be the pleural pain respiration is shallow and rapid where the in sub acute empyema the this onset is the insidious and it present of overlook suspicion of the condition and chronic empyema there is a two types one is closed type and open type closed type is the closed collection of pus completely walled off from its surrounding and open types either with the bronchus which known as the bronchodilator fistula these are the two types of the chronic empyema of the secondary changes management to control the primary infection and secondary manifestation evacuation of the pleural content re-expansion of the underlying lungs the principle of the management is the use of the appropriate antibiotics therapy adequate drainage of the pus for chronic empyema sinus now the decortication operation removal of the outer covering of the portion of the cortical substance of the structure or organ is called as decortication operation now the surgical treatment of the pulmonary tuberculosis is the introduction of the various anti tubercular drugs have definitely minimized the scope of the operation in case of the pulmonary tuberculosis the surgical treatment of the pulmonary tuberculosis is the cavitation and endobronchial tuberculosis is there the operative treatment have two types collapse therapy or resection the collapse therapy means the collapse the segment of the lungs the rest and then promote healing collapse therapy include the artificial pneumothorax then thoracoscopy and section of the adhesions phrenic crush thoracoplasty with uh, apicolysis extrapleural pneumothorax extrapleural plastic plumbage thoracoplasty most effective operation among the collapse therapy now the next is the lung abscess necrosis of the lung tissue due to the localized area of the lung infection and the lung ab uh, abscess is formation causes aspiration of the uh, gastric contents due to the septic emboli foreign body partial or complete bronchial obstruction organism is a staphylococcus or yes streptococcus hemophilus influence pneumococcus caliform organism and friedlander dear students here is a picture of the lung abscess is clearly seen this is the actual lung of abscess chest film showing the lung abscess at the left side now the pathology of the lung abscess is the inhalation or aspiration of the infected material in the main cause of the lung abscess then obstruct one or small bronchi causes atelic separation benign tissue necrosis then lung abscess chronic state and case inflammatory consolidation is formed there clinical features are expectation of fall and putrid sputum treatment is intense antibiotic therapy drainage of the abscess surgical treatment is pneumonotomy or drainage of the abscess pulmonary resection now the next point is the lung cyst rarely various types of the cyst may be found in the lungs that is the empyzymatous cyst epithelial cyst a parasitic cyst and a pseudo cyst empyzymatous cyst are developed due to the degenerative changes in the lungs with destruction of the normal alveolar framework on iron rupture of the alveolar wall epithelial cyst these cyst are developed in the origin so these are often associated with the other congenital abnormalities parasitic cyst that is the hydrated cyst is found are is by far the most common in this group pseudo cyst these cysts are not true in the sense that these are not cyst to start with but various inflammatory condition of the lung may lead to the cavity formation which behave like cyst now dear students here is the image on your screen you are watching that the image of the lung cyst this is the ct image is clearly showing you the next is the same lung cyst is there now the next point of this lecture is tumors of the bronchi and lungs first we start with the benign tumors these are the intra bronchial tumors and peripheral tumors histopathologically two main types bronchial adenoma and hematoma clinical features are symptoms due to the partial or complete bronchial obstruction recurrent hemoptysis and various endocrine effects are there treatment of the benign tumors of the bronchi are bronchotomy and lung resection now here is a clear picture showing the lung cancer that is the tumor of the bronchi this is the tumor of bronchi another image now 
द प्राइमरी कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द लंग कॉजेज ऑफ द प्राइमरी कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द लंग्स आर इंक्रीज हैबिट ऑफ सिगरेट स्मोकिंग इंडस्ट्रियल हेजर्स एटमोस्फेरिक पोल्यूशन इंक्लूडिंग स्मोक इटियोलॉजी बिहाइंड द प्राइमरी कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द लंग्स आर दैट इज द सिगरेट स्मोकिंग कंटेन्स पॉलिसिस्टिक हाइड्रोकार्बन्स एंड अनबर्न टोबैको दैट इज द एन नाइट्रो सोर्नी सोर्नी कॉन्टेन दीज आर द कार्सिनोजेनिक हाइड्रोकार्बन्स which is uh, deposit in the lung cells and uh, form the primary carcinoma of the lung histological changes are the basal cell carcinoma stratification squamous metaplasia carcinoma in situ these are histological changes in the primary carcinoma of the lungs here is the primary carcinoma of the lungs in the lung is seen second image showing the primary carcinoma of the lungs primary carcinoma of the bronchi Epidermoid carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma originates from the cigarette smoking. Adenocarcinoma among non-smokers. Introduction of the gasoline engine, uh, dust laden with tar, exposing to asbestos, radioactive substances that like chromium, nickel, arsenic, sulfurous smoke, and respiratory viruses. All are the etiological factors of the primary carcinoma of the lungs. Now the pathology. Origin majority of the primary carcinoma of the lung arises from the surface epithelium of the bronchi tree. mostly from the basal and mucous cells arise from the neurosecretory cells and from clara cells of the distal bronchioles now macroscopic varieties are uh, main bronchus tumors peripheral tumors and pancos tumors macroscopic varieties are squamous cell carcinoma epidermoid epidermoid adenocarcinoma undifferentiated or anaplastic carcinoma bronchio alveolar alveolar carcinoma large cell carcinoma now the spread of the primary uh, carcinoma of the lungs are through the direct distension of the spread second is the intratracheal spread lymphatic spread and blood spread clinical features sign of and symptoms due to the primary tumors are cough chest pain hemoptysis dyspnea sign symptoms due to the secondary invasion that is the invasion of the mediastinum pressure effect uh, symptoms due to the secondary deposits now uh, third is the general symptoms like clubbing of the nails loss of the appetite weight loss neuromyopathy endocrine related symptoms like cushin syndrome ectopic gonadotropins now the next point of this lecture is the pancos tumor and its treatment a special and well recognized site for bronchogenic carcinoma is the apex of the lung and known as the superior sulcus tumor of pancos due to its peculiar position it protrudes peculiar symptoms and signs the tumor invades the superior meristem early and involves the brachial plexus and cervical sympathetic nerves and upper rib to produce a collection of the symptoms known as a pancos syndrome this syndrome includes the horner syndrome low brachial plexus and erosion of the upper two ribs here is the clear cut seen the pancos tumor in the chest x ray you can clearly see this is the second image showing the pancos tumor now the investigations is to be made in the pancos tumor are blood eosinophilia carcino embryogenic antigen that is the ca should be performed chest x ray uh, cytological examination of the sputum uh, then uh, percutaneous aspiration needle biopsy peripheral lung carcinoma may be diagnosed more readily by this technique bronchoscopy this is the fundamental diagnostic technique for the patient uh, suspected of the lung carcinoma second is the next is the mediastinoscopy this has become a routine practice once the diagnosis is made to see the mediastinal structure through a small incision in the suprasternal fossa next is the ct scan this technique is being utilized not only for diagnosis of the lung cancer but also for its staging liver brain bone scanning following injection of technetium labeled sulfur colloid scanning of liver brain and bone may be performed to exclude the distant metastases then routine radiographic bone survey should be considered before operation occult skeletal metastases seen in 21% barium swallow examination sos will indicate if it is involved by the lung cancer or not scanning nodes biopsy for biopsies to uh, to know the involvement of these nodes which contraindicate for radical resection now the treatment is the radical excision radical resection means the excision of the uh, primary tumor with the regional lymph node radical pneumonectomy radical lobectomy radiotherapy 5000 to 6000 rats na uh, chemotherapy cyclophosphamide doxorubicin vincristine cyclophosphamide adriamycin that, that is the doxorubicin methotrexate cisplatinum all these are the uh, chemotherapeutic agents in the primary lung cancers immunology radical aspects of the primary carcinoma is a depressed cellular immunity associated with the poor prognosis immunotherapy of pulmonary neoplasms by the direct intra tumor injection of the basilic gamete urine that is the bcg laser therapy that is the yag ag laser atrium aluminum garnet should be given and carbon dioxide laser now the secondary tumor of the lungs are types 
uh, of the primary tumors which metastasizes to the lungs are carcinomas or which carcinoma of the breast kidney thyroid colon prostate testis and uterus are the important in the order of frequency sarcomas of which osteosarcomas top of the list chorion carcinoma which often metastasizes to the lungs and malignant melanoma now the routes of the spread by the blood spread and by the lymphatic by the bl blood stream this is the commonest route which metastasis occurs in the lung primary growth is located in the area systemic circulation the cancer cells is in the blood stream meet the first set of capillary in the lung second is the by the lymphatic the lymphatic spread into the lungs may occur from the cancer of the breast Ty then the types of the deposition is a solitary central deposit known as a canal ball metastasis and second is the multiple deposit which are scattered all over the lung these may be unilateral or bilateral now the treatment is surgery uh, in case of the solitary pulmonary metastasis resection should be done then chemotherapy and radiotherapy should be given dear friends here is the hot spot is suggesting the secondary carcinoma of the lung this is the bilaterally multiple deposit of the secondary carcinoma of the lung the same picture sh showing the cancer cell through the blood strip is deposit in the lung cells and tumor is formed this is the chest x-ray showing the multiple depositions of the secondary carcinoma of the lungs dear friends to know the details regarding these points you can refer the textbook of surgery and here is the end of our surgery lecture number 102 that is the chest injury and the disease of the chest thank you